And now um, I want to introduce you to our next speaker, Bob uh, Granito from uh, IVP Research Labs is with us and uh, Jeff Gill is on the chat. So please post your questions there for him and I'll turn it over to Bob. Okay, that should be better, right? Perfect, yeah. thank you. The wonders of Zoom. All right, so I'm gonna share my screen again. All right, everyone can see that and hopefully you can hear me now. So our presentation today is called Neuromarketing Made Easy. Um, I'm presenting today uh, with Jeff Gill from Shimmer, and we are strategically partnered. And the reason for that is IVP provides research labs, which is technology with technicians. And we're partnered with Shimmer because they have a great technology that we're talking about today called Neuralink. So we're taking the Neuralink technology and we're incorporating that into one of our research labs. So we're happy to be offering that into the marketplace um, at this moment. In fact, uh, we'll talk about some projects that uh, are on the hopper in the calendar, and uh, you can get some specific examples of how we're gonna use the technology. So um, just to reiterate, IVP Research Labs and Shimmer have formed a strategic partnership. And the purpose of that is to make neuromarketing technology more accessible and affordable to the industry. Up until this point, um, a lot of the neuromarketing technology has been a little too invasive and a little too costly for a lot of our clients. So we think this is a good fit for um, a lot of those clients and for a lot of their projects. So how does Neuralink work? Um, first of all, let me just tell you, it, it's very, it's very uh, accessible, meaning uh, and flexible. It can be used in a one-on-one -on -one situation. It can be used for focus groups and it can be used for large audiences up to 45 people. And we think that makes it a really unique product because up to this point, you really haven't been able to do um, that type of uh, data collection with biometrics. Um, what does it measure? It's measuring the skin conductance of a respondent, what we call GSR, and it's measuring the heart rate of respondents. Um, and that correlates to levels of arousal and levels of attention. Um, the best part about this technology is it's passive, right? The respondents really don't need to do anything, right? We're capturing their physiological response and it's a non-conscious response, right? So as they're watching some stimuli, usually media-based, we're capturing those biometric measures and able to see uh, what the responses are. Um, the results um, are summarized uh, by the level of audience response, which is, like I said, intuitive and, um, and a, a decent metric. Um, <clears throat> benefits of Neuralink. Um, the real benefit is it provides our clients with uh, easy, um, the ability to easily identify where the when response is happening, right? So as they're watching maybe a pilot or they're watching a sporting event or um, most recently a project uh, what we worked on was the presidential election as they're watching, um, sorry, the presidential debate as they're watching the debate, we can see the responses and we know exactly when they're happening. Um, and why is that important? Um, it, it allows our clients to see that data in real time and then probe um, on those responses to understand the why behind the response. And the responses that are provided or the data that is provided um, in the, uh, is, is shown um, basically how strong those responses are, whether there's no response, whether there's some response, or whether there's a strong response. Um, just to talk about the technology itself, there's no geographic limitation, right? Neuralink is portable. So we can basically support it uh, wherever the research is taking place. Um, it doesn't have to be in a facility. Uh, Jeff and I have worked on projects, of course, in facilities, but we've also worked in a casino. Um, we've worked in uh, sports bars and places like that. So really no geographical limitation. Um, flexible research locations, that's basically just reiterating what I just said. Um, and the setup is quick and easy. Uh, usually takes about 10 minutes once the system is set up 
to get the system up and running usually takes about 10 minutes. We do a demonstration on how to attach the sensors of which there's only two or three. Um, and you know the entire uh, pool of participants all put the uh, sensors on themselves. So it only takes about five, the most 10 minutes to incorporate. Um, and there's multiple applications for the technology. Um, some of the examples, um, mock juries, it's, it's perfect for mock juries. Um, you can capture, again, that physiological response. You can see when uh, a lawyer is presenting to a jury if um, the, uh, the, the content is resonating with the jurors. Um, it's also great for, uh, as I mentioned, sporting events and pretty much any type of uh, media uh, situation. Um, real quick, just to give you a, a, an, illust an uh, illustration of, you know, how the technology works. Um, if you look up here, this was um, a study we did for the presidential debate, and we customized the real-time feedback. Um, we actually broadcast this live during the debate, and this is what anyone viewing would be able to see. So we, we had uh, three different groups. We had... Uh, uh, Biden supporters, Trump supporters, and undecided. As you can imagine, the undecided was the group that everyone is most interested in uh, learning about. Um, so in real time, you could see the debate itself and you can see the, uh, the biometric measures from each of the groups and how uh, what they were seeing and hearing was resonating. Uh, down the bottom, this is more of the generic output that the system provides. So. Basically, I'm just showing it as to illustrate that we can customize the data output um, visually uh, to whatever suits our clients' needs, whether it's the top example or whether it's a more generic example down the bottom. And it shows you uh, either the aggregate output of all the sensors, or you can dig down and, and look at uh, one particular group uh, or one particular person, if you really want to dig down to that level. Um, at this point, I'm going to turn it over to Jeff, and he's going to walk you through some of the analysis that's available. Yeah. So, <clears throat> thanks, Bob. I mean, I think uh, you know the the real time stuff is is, is really useful, especially in like political debates. Um, as Bob mentioned, uh, or I think he mentioned that we uh, put this out on YouTube Live. And um, so we were able to have people tweeting about the results as it was happening. Um, so that, you know, political debates, you really need the real time feed. Um, but of course, actually, if you can uh, advance the next slide. Um, we also have the ability to do qu more quantitative analysis. Um, and so say, for example, you wanted to do like a four ad uh, test with with focus groups. Maybe you have four sessions, so you can rotate the ads and and uh, take care of order effects. Um, well, within minutes, we can get you rankings of the ads. We can aggregate the uh, the video traces so that you can t tell at any moment when people are responding to the ads, um, and and do that. We can also break it down in, into sub subgroups or whatever. So it, it actually can be uh, very, very um, uh, quick to do the analysis. It also, you can, um, the truth of the matter is you only need somewhere around 17 to 20 people to get really repeatable and, and stable results. So you're effectively getting a, a quantitative analysis really with a very small group of, of people. Um, you know, to give you a, a sense, I mean, of how quick this is, we were able to uh, to uh, do an analysis of uh, almost 100 ads uh, in six minutes with the software. Uh, I guess the, the last word is, you know, we really designed this so it can layer into almost any research that you can imagine. Um, it's designed to be something supportive, gives you a whole new window um, that, you know, clients really quite find fascinating and, and very useful. Um, but without making it, you know, having to do a whole new neural marketing program. Uh, so it's, it's very much synergistic with existing research. 
And uh, Bob, I, I think that's pretty much all we have. Uh, maybe questions next. Yes, and we have several questions. Um, a lot of people, and I know you mentioned in the in the chat, Jeff, um, about um, being able to send something Neuralink home. If you could talk about that a little bit. Uh, sure, we're we're literally going to announce that that product uh, next week. Um, and uh, Alyssa mentioned we have a, uh, a Super Bowl study that's going to be happening. Uh, uh, so. That that product will be available will be available also through uh, Schlesinger and IBP as as well as Media Science. Okay, and I'm assuming respondents are able to set that up for themselves. Yeah, yeah, we have a a, a whole process that that you know leads them through that. Uh, very, I mean, it's a simple process to begin with, but we've tried to make it as foolproof as possible for them to to do that, and and we've gotten good results so far. Okay, and a lot of people asked about the sensors, wanting to see the sensors, what they look like, yeah. can they be used on children? Um, so uh, the, the sensors themselves are wrist-based sensors. There was a, a picture uh, of, of them, uh, wasn't the greatest picture. Uh, yeah, there, there, there it is. Um, so those are the sensors. Um, they have been used on children and um, actually there was just a recent study done of uh, different learning methodologies uh, for four and five year old kids who are learning to read. Uh, that's uh, still being written up. It was done actually by the National Institutes of Education in Singapore. So, um, so yeah, it's all ages. Awesome. And then we wanted to know how quickly is the info available? Can you do an immediate interview with the respondent and to ask them what was going on in their in their mind from their perspective? Yeah, absolutely. You can uh, as, soon, as soon as the, uh, you know, if you, for example, if you show them a TV ad, you can potentially turn around and, and show them that information immediately. Um, and, and so that that's definitely possible. All right. And this may have already been shown, but uh, we wanted to see what the output looks like. Um, do you provide the analysis that goes into the report? Um, we, we will tend to provide the analytics um, and uh, the, the sort of the metrics. Um, we, uh, we tend to work with our partners to provide, you know, to actually do the, you know, the interpretation and, and the reports, um, but the, the analytics are, are provided. Fantastic. Now, um, how does your neurological uh, responses compare? Uh, this is curious minds want to know on that political study that you mentioned, were they different or similar from the telephone online polls? Um, well, so we're sort of measuring something a little bit different. We're measuring the moment by moment response. And, you know, we could tell how different, like the how do the undecides reacted to, you know, when Biden and Trump were going at each other. I mean, there were times, for example, when the undecides were kind of flattened, both the Biden and, and Trump supporters were responding very strongly. So, so you know, none of the, the polling information really kind of gets to that level of detail. All right. Well, you have a lot of fans. Um, you'll see that on the chat and uh, <laughs> a lot of people who are raving about the service. Um, thank you so much. Great to IVP Labs, to everybody, to all the sponsors, um, to Heart Connect, and for Reduct. Um, please, everybody, visit them. Um, if you have any more questions, you can post them in the chat, and they'll come back to the chat or visit them at their booth and have a fuller discussion um, with them. If you have any last, we have one minute uh, left for um, our sponsor. If you have any other questions for IVP Labs, please uh, post it in the chat. But otherwise, I invite everybody to visit them um, in on the exhibit hall or sponsors and exhibitors tab. And I'll see you there. Thank you, sponsors. Thank you. Everyone. Thank you.